A very wonderful morning and may peace be upon all of you. I'm Colonel Nisar Ahmad Sidi, uh, signing in from Calicut after a short break. We had an encounter with the COVID-19 virus for the last about one month, the whole family. So I thought it would be worthwhile to share our experience with all of you so that you may be able to get some finer points if you experience uh, uh, such encounter with the virus. Firstly, uh, some of the points I would like to highlight is we really don't know when are we going to get this virus, you know, because it's very, very difficult to find when are you going to get it? Because uh, you don't know. You really don't know. Because for my example, uh, I, we had a function in the college, a college day function uh, of the staff. And uh, came back, I was absolutely fine. And thereafter, I developed high fever one day and back pain and a little uh, bitter taste in my mouth. So I really thought that it would be a normal viral fever. Now, luckily, two, three days were holidays, so I didn't go out. On the third day, I get a call from the college that, you know, two of them have been tested positive, those people who were present during the function. So naturally, I wanted to check. I went for the test and I was also tested positive. So actually, though I didn't have any symptoms of COVID-19, I already got it. And I came to know only on the fourth day. So if normal sense in this four days, if you would have been interacting with other people, there are likelihood, there are chances that I would have given it to some others, maybe five people, that five would have given it to 10, the 10 would have given it to 20 and so on. That is how this, you know, spreads and especially the second string from whatever we know, it is highly contagious and spreading very, very fast. So the point to remember or note here it is, whenever you feel uncomfortable, whether it is a fever, whether it is any other discomfort, it's always better to get it checked. So if you can spot it at the right time, the first point is you will not give it to others. Now, first three days I had interacted with my family. So naturally, I would have given it to them. So that is the point you should bear in mind. So if you can spot it early, then you can stop that chain from spreading. So that is the first point. Now, the second point is symptoms. Now, symptoms are all vary from people to people, from place to place, from time to time. So, you don't have a uniform symptoms. So, again, the problem is detection becomes more difficult. So, that's why I told you, you have to make sure that, you know, whenever you feel discomfort, it is better to get checked after consulting with your family doctor. Now, the next point is... Uh, Straight away, you have to quarantine yourself into one single room and washroom so that, you know, uh, you are not going to spread the virus to the rest of the people who are in the family or wherever you are. So in our case, when I tested positive uh, on the third, fourth day, though I was in my room quarantined, and uh, the wife also started having some symptoms like body pain then a little fever and also she has lost the smell and the taste so that was very clear that she should have got it so we checked it and she was there so both of us got into one room and started the quarantine now when we both got okay naturally we have to check the status of our other uh, family members my daughters were there so it was surprisingly, we both tested post, uh, negative and the daughters tested positive. So again, that 
bat and change of the relay race is continuing. It's like a four into 400 meters race. First I got it, then my wife, then my elder daughter and the younger daughter. So uh, the point to remember is the second string being so contagious, it is spreading like wildfire. So it's all right. Some of the points which you should take care is, firstly, keep your cool. You can get it anytime from anywhere. But even if you get it, it is all right. You have to take the basic precautions so that it doesn't spread and also you contain it within yourself. That is the most important aspect. So if you get unnecessary, you know, panic then you know nothing will improve do you think by becoming panic or out of fear of uncertainty will you improve your health no further you are worsening it because if you don't have positive thoughts in your mind naturally you are going to lose out on the immunity part so once you are okay physically i mean when you are out of the fever then you can start slowly, you know, walks, little bit exercises, body movements, whatever is comfortable to you. I repeat it again, whatever is comfortable, don't overload because the muscles goes weak, body pain remains. So it takes time and you can do some deep breathing exercise. Those exercises, I will cover it in the next video so that it becomes easy for you. Otherwise, this video will become too long for you. So, small, small activities, wherever you feel comfortable, please carry on. Otherwise, in the quarantine stage, it gets onto your head because you have totally cut off from the rest of the world. And the worst is no help from outside because of our quarantine state. That is very sickening, especially a help for cleaning, washing, utensils. It becomes very difficult when you are not well. In a normal lockdown, it is okay because you are otherwise physically fit. But during this time, it is more difficult because you are not keeping well. So that's why I told you, go slow and steady. Keep yourself, you know, take it graciously because that's very important. And do all activities what you feel comfortable. Wherever you feel discomfort, just leave it, okay? Now, the next point is uh, the rehabilitation stage. That's also very, very important. So, before rehabilitation, I would like to mention a point. The most important thing is don't have a respiratory issue. For that, you must keep an oxy pulse meter, pulse ox meter, so that you know you can check your oxygen levels at home. And keep checking every 3-4 hours whenever you feel uh, discomfort of breath. So, you know, when you know that it goes below 90, then you have to consult a doctor. Because timely consultancy will make things more easier. Otherwise, if you go to a doctor or a hospital after it has become complicated, then you are asking for trouble. Because then your requirement is, oxygen, ICU bed, all those which are at premium now with the number increasing. Now we come back to the rehabilitation stage. Rehabilitation stage of three to four weeks, it again varies from person to person. Okay, this is also very important because you have to have a lot of fluids, you have to have uh, that ZAC D tablet that is basically zinc, your vitamin A, vitamin C and vitamin D. Okay, then normal, simple exercises, deep breathing, have a lot of hot and warm fluids. And you should also improve your protein food. That is, you have to have a high protein food so that, you know, you come back to normal slowly. So these are some of the points I would like to share. And let me tell you, if you keep your cool, if you keep the positivity, I'm sure we can defeat this pandemic. But we all have to join hands together. Help each other. Whatever little you can, at least spread positivity. Don't spread this negativity through the social medias and you are getting totally bogged down. You feel very sick of the news what you are getting from all over. 
and nothing is going to improve. You are going to further deteriorate your condition. So take it in the spirit and let us all fight this pandemic. And it is just a matter of time that we will be the winners. It is just a matter of time. Keep praying to the Almighty God to give us the wisdom, patience and resolve to face this like a warrior from the front. So all the very best. God bless and wishing you all a wonderful health and happiness and prosperity. Good day. God bless.